Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, man. I take your other play. That was a great line back in 97. You know, Good Burger. That was a great film when they made it. Nickelodeon did wonders. I don't even know why they did a second part. Why do they always make new movies about old great movies? Bear in mind, this is like 26 years. The original Good Burger. I don't know why they did it. I don't know, but they did it anyway. The original lot is about Dexter crashes into Mr. Witt's car and he does not have car insurance and, or, or no or driver's license, which means he could possibly go to jail but Mr. Wheat agrees to let him pay off the damage by working at his restaurant which happens to be Goodberg where Dexter meets and befriends Ed who creates a secret sauce that takes Good Burger to extra high new phenomenal heights and becomes a fast food phenomenon everybody wants to eat there this new restaurant opens called Mondo Burgers and they try to steal the business from the Good Burger and the whole uh, Good Burger employees try to rekindle or get back their restaurant by basically destroying the burger Nick door that has bigger burgers better fries and everything but does not have that sauce but if you have not seen the first one you should probably go see it. now on the second one Dexter moved to a big city where he tries to be a big entrepreneur and he sort of burns his house down trying to invent this thing called the never burn down something like that if your house is on fire this chemical he sprays on the house prevents your house from burning the pitch sounds great at all it ends up burning his own house down I'm spoiling the movie I'm sorry and eventually is forced to move back in town and since he stole his sister's money he burned a lot of bridges with people with his old entrepreneurial skills he goes back to his old buddy ed uh, who gives him a place to stay for a while and discovers that ed now owns good burger and he's a wealthy man with a lot of kids and doing great for himself and dexter being a, a swindler basically tries to convince his best friend franchise or sell his business in a way and only to be swindled by mega corp a company which which is a, a, a clap back to the original uh, villain of the good burger it happens to be the sister of the original guy called kurt now this Kurt Kate. This woman tries to buy Good Burger and Ed's likeness and make multiple burgers all over the world that are fully automated, run by robot AI, basically. And the whole Good Burger, the new Good Burger crew tries to stop this by sabotaging the opening. That's the whole movie in a nutshell. Now, do I think this was a necessity? No. There's a whole bunch of plots in it, but it's Nickelodeon. It's meant for kids, so it's not supposed to make logical sense. But people say, oh my god, you're always complaining about movies. Why can you just enjoy a movie. I tried to enjoy movies, but they make weird ass movies. And this movie, maybe because the original was a great movie. I don't know. Maybe if I rewatched the original right now, it'd probably be horrible. But since I watched it as a kid, it was a work of art. Now I'm watching this as an adult. It's not a work of art. It's silly as fuck. I don't even know why they made it. In 2015, The Tonight Show made a skit of this. And I guess people loved it so much, even I loved it, I remember watching that. They thought it would be a great idea to, I don't know why, but they did. I don't know why, but they did, and it's such a bore. Anyway, goodbye. Now that was entertaining. Adios, folks. Adios.